to my science class. What is up everyone? Today we are doing science class with Addie. Yeah. So we are going to be doing a fun little experiment that you guys can all try at home. Make sure if you try this, you do it with a parent um, and they can help you get all of the supplies and do it, but it's just a fun little experiment. Yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Yeah, guys, welcome to my science class. Today, I wanna make popcorn dance. All right, so today we are making popcorn dance. Can you tell everyone about what we need to make our popcorn dance? Um, we need popcorn seeds. Popcorn kernels. Yep, you need some popcorn kernels. And we need um, uh, a sacred scoop of popcorn. Mm -hmm. And we need a spoon to mix it. Yep, if you're doing food coloring, that's optional. You can make yep. your water colorful. And, and I got red food coloring. And baking soda and vinegar. Vinegar. And what's your big container for? Um, it's for the popcorn kid dance. Well, what's in it right now? A water. Yep, and we can do this with a smaller jar. You can do it with a cup, a container. You just want something clear that you can see through. But we're doing a big one for extra fun. What happened? Go ahead and leave a comment of what you think is going to happen when we mix all of the ingredients together in our vase. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Yeah. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is, it's optional as I said, we're going to add in our food coloring. This? Yep. This so we're just going to add in a couple of drops of food coloring. Yeah. And what color did you pick? Red. All right, go ahead and add it in. All right, and give it a nice big mix. The food coloring just makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah. You can do any color you want. You can leave it plain water, like I said. All right, and once it's mixed up, you can take the spoon out. Yep, and just set it on your tray, and then just put in a couple scoops of popcorn. We are using about five cups of water here, um, and we're gonna do about a cup of popcorn in there. You can put a little bit more. You don't need a full scoop. Okay, let's see. All right. It looks like the popcorn is on the top broken. Yeah, so it sinks now. It sinks to the bottom of the water. You know why it sinks down under the water? Cause, cause, cause a post to, cause well, well, yes, it's supposed to sink because the popcorn is more dense than water, which means it will sink. Yep. All right, yep, so next we're going to add in our baking soda. We have about half a cup of baking soda here that we are going to dump in. Yeah. And now you can give it a good mix again. Mixing is also called agitate, right? Mix the it up a little bit. Yeah, tornado. Yep, you're making a little tornado in there. All right, and now we are just going to add in a little bit of vinegar. We don't want to add it all in at once, so just pour a little bit in. Let's see what happens. Keep going. It's not going yet. All right, that means we you're making bubbles though. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. Let's mix up our stuff and go ahead and add a little bit more vinegar. Go ahead and dump about half of that in. <gasps> not yet. We need to put more in. We need to mix in more. Okay, yeah. Oh, look, the popcorn is dancing! All right, and if you look, you can see the popcorn going up and down and dancing. What is happening, Ads? Can you tell us? Um, 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 gas is coming to make the bubbles, to that the bubbles are popping off the popcorn to make it fall down. 
Yes, so what is happening is, as Eddie said, gas is forming. It's carbon dioxide, which are these little bubbles you can kind of see in there. And they're hooking to the popcorn kernels, which are carrying the popcorn kernels up to the top of the water. And then the bubbles are popping, so the gas is releasing and the bubbles go right, or the, and the popcorn kernels go right back down. <laughs> Yep, and you can add in some more vinegar. All right, we're just gonna dump in all the vinegar now. Yeah, see what happens. Whoa, oh, you made a volcano. Look at all the popcorn going crazy in there. <laughs> Look at that, it's all up at the top. It's, it's dancing this. like crazy, because there's so many bubbles. It's yeah. so much, oh, when it all popped. Oh, that was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Put more vinegar Put some more vinegar in? Yeah. Okay, we can try a little bit more. Uh, let's take this out. Can we, where can I put this? All right, let's see what happens. We're gonna... Going down. Oh, look at. Oh, it's having a party in there, isn't it? Yeah. Party. I a party, party, party. Put more in here. All right, a little bit more. We can do a little bit more, and then we're almost out of vinegar. And so, this is a good idea of why to have a tray or some sort of. Whoa. Well, <laughs> oh, there wasn't enough to make it volcano. Look at that. So then you can just kind of keep doing it. Hey, let me. Hey, can we put a little bit more in? No, look at that. Wow. Look at all those bubbles. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're popping the gas now. You're releasing the gas. <laughs> the popcorn's dancing. Popcorn tomato. Look at my hand. It kind of hurts. It stings a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, vinegar does that a little bit. Here you go. Uh, Look at that. It's still all the way up there. Oh, there it goes. Uh, you were making more gas by mixing it up. Go ahead and mix it again and see what happens. Look I want to do it with the spoon this time. Oh, so it doesn't hurt. Okay. And you can look at all that popping and you can see it mixing. Yeah. You can hear it. Oh, look, see, she, when she mixes it, the, the, what makes the gas is the vinegar and the baking soda. You can see we still have a little bit of baking soda down at the bottom. So when she mixes it, that baking soda is mixing in with our vinegar, creating more carbon dioxide, which is making those popcorn kernels dance. All right, one last showdown. Addie just wanted to finish the vinegar. So here it goes. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Look at that popcorn. All of that carbon dioxide gas is bubbling up at the top there, making those whoa. pop up to the top. That's cool. I'm going to mix it. Okay. And now she's mixing it up, creating some more gas, and it's going to overflow again. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead and stop, and let's see what our popcorn kernels are doing. Look at that. They're still spinning from the stirring, but they're going up to the top and dancing. It's kind of is like a cool lava lamp if you are hey, know what like, those are from the early like 2000s. Lava right here. And it does look like lava because we used red. Our popcorn will keep dancing until all of the gas is gone. And you can see here even down at the bottom, there's still some gas on those kernels, but there's just not enough to lift them up and get them dancing up to the top. I want you the popcorn. I hope you like my science class. So today in Addie's science lab, we learned about making carbon dioxide when you mix vinegar with baking soda in your water was just in there to give you us some extra liquid to help the popcorn dance what so again if you want to do this <laughs> whoa <laughs> so again if you want to do this experiment at home all you need is some vinegar baking soda water and popcorn kernels and yeah. then food coloring if you would like 
Yes, and a grown-up. You do not want to do this on your own, so make sure you ask a grown-up. You're watching today's episode of Addie's Science <laughs> Lab. If you want to see more, make sure you give us a like and subscribe for future science classes and other videos. Bye. Bye.